Well, everybody's favorite teammate, Big Trust, Mark Ingram. Look at the details. Shout out to him, man. He was once a New Orleans Saint. And then he had a, a departure from the New Orleans Saints, and he came to the Ravens. And I always say, Saints and Ravens, they so intertwined, and they always will be. So Mark Ingram went from the Saints to the Ravens. Saints had Latavius Murray as their running back. So a couple of years down the road, Latavius Murray gets cut right before the season by the Saints. Where does he end up? With the Baltimore Ravens. But anyway, that's beside the point. And we got so many other ways we could intertwine the Saints and the Ravens. We would be here for a long time. But anyway, Mark Ingram, who went from the Ravens to the Texans and that just whole mess of a team. They got a lot going on, and I'm sure he won't be the only Texan that gets traded over the next couple of days, but we'll talk about that when that happens. But Mark Ingram has been traded from the Texans, where they got like 80 running backs anyway, but he's been traded from the Texans back home to the Saints. And you know Saints fans, they loving this. They, they loving this. And I know a lot of my Ravens fans, they, they wanted this to happen for them. They wanted him to come back to the Ravens. They wanted the Ravens to trade for Mark Ingram. And I think a lot of Ravens fans were thinking of the Mark Ingram from back in 2019 where the whole big trust started and how he was just, this guy was the best teammate in the world. Like, you got to give it, he's the best teammate in the world, never complained, even got benched in 2020. Didn't say a word, man. You never heard not one negative word come out of his mouth when that happened. Ultimate teammate. And then you could tell how much people really loved, like fans, you know they really loved him. Because I know when Saints, the Anks re-signed Mark Ingram and he went to the, the Ravens, Saints fans was heartbroken. But they were like, hey, take care of our boy. Take care of our guy. Take care of him. Uh, and then when the Ravens, when they cut him, um, but last year they cut him, and, like, the whole team, they, they sign in jerseys and send it to, like, they, they don't do that for nobody. They don't be doing that for nobody. Like, I've, I've never, ever seen Ravens teammates and Ravens players and whatnot where, where they cut somebody and they got the whole team signing jerseys and send it. Like, I was like, what? But that's the love, man. That's the type of teammate Mark Ingram is. And then you still saw that same vibe and you still saw that same energy despite the situation, despite all that craziness going on, even despite all the losing too, you still saw that same energy from Mark Ingram with the Texans. That's why this guy, like, I'm sure the Texans were like, you know what, this, this season, it's a wash. It ain't working out. We ain't doing nothing. So you know what, you want to go back home? And I'm sure the Saints were like, <laughs> We want him to come back home. And the Saints are quiet, 4-2, and two, by the way. I didn't even know they were 4-2 and two until uh, yesterday when I was doing a podcast with my boy Theo. I didn't even know they were 4-2. and two. So I'm like, oh, man, they, they like a sneaky 4-2 and because I had no clue about that. But um, I, I'm sure the way that he is, the way that his character seems to be, um, it, it, it seems like it would be, it just makes it right to do right by him. Because the Texans, I'm sure they may have had some other offers for some other, from some other teams for one Mark Ingram. And the 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 the, the uh, details of the trade is supposed to be like a late pick. So it's probably going to be like a sixth or seventh round. A, a late future pick. So it ain't even going to be this upcoming draft, but probably ne the, the year after next year's draft. So, But we'll see. Uh, it, I ain't really stunned the details of this deal anyway. Um, but, <laughs> but with Mark Ingram... Since he is the ultimate teammate, then, it, it, you know, usually when people, when people, when they do right by you, you want to do right by them. Especially when they do right by you, given whatever the situation, especially if it's in a not so right situation. Because he could have, he could have been complaining. He could have been on Twitter, man, like, man, why did I sign with this team? What, what a bad move. By, he could have done so many things, but he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. And that says a lot about the person that he is. That says a lot about the uh, professional that he is, too. Um, but now, now he gets to go back home. Now, I'm sure he'll fit, fit, in, fit in just nice there. Now, things will be different from the last time he was there. Because last time he was there, they still had somebody under the name Drew Brees. Uh, but now you got Jameis Winston. He's been doing his thing over there and whatnot. Um, but, because again, they 4-2. 4-2. Like that's that's crazy. I just I just really I did not realize that. 
These boys are really 4-2 and two right now. Just got a win, ugly win over the Seahawks the other night. Um, so they they doing their thing. So hey, and they got a game this weekend coming up against the Bucks. They got a game coming up against the Bucks. Now I don't think I don't think he'll be eligible to play in that game. I don't believe. Um, but he can play after that and, and moving forward. So anyway, Mark Ingram is now back at the crib, back like he never left. So, and I'm sure after being with the Texans, he was like, oh, man, I should have never left. But, no, nah, it's all good. Shout out to Mark Ingram, man, because he, he's one of them people that when you think about him, you just smile. You, can, you cannot help but smile. So, I, I, he brings a lot of happiness to the game of football. He brings a lot of enjoyment and excitement. And he just brings this vibe to the game of football, man, that you just, it's, it's almost like it's unmatched. But he is somebody that he going to ride for his team. He going to put it out there for his team. And he, is, he, he just supports so much, man. And I feel like we've been talking about Mark Ingram so much during this video. And we ain't even talked about him on the football field. But that, that's just how, his, his personality is just the vibe is so contagious, man. He's very contagious. And he seems like a very genuine person. So I'm just I'm, I'm happy that he is getting moved from the Texan situation to the Saints situation. <laughs> Two completely different situations. But shout out to him, man. I, I'm 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 happy for him. I feel like I feel like I know him or something. Like that's my cousin or something. But I'm happy for him. So shout out to my guy Kwani four times, uh, cause he's he knew how this video was gonna end. So just like my guy Mark Ingram is when it comes to being with the Houston Texans, I'm out. Big trust.